Page 16, At Home, or the opening theme of At Home. It's a neat little piece. Two four times, so there's only two beats in a measure, but, uh, but we're counting quarter notes. And all these 16th notes, one eanda, two eanda. One sharp, so it's G major or E minor, one or the other. Make sure you can do either scale, both scales. Two octaves up and down, I got scale videos on them. Go do that. Do the beginning and intermediate parts of those. Let's look at the end, the last major you hear. That's an E minor chord. I'm guessing this is an E minor. Overall, as you play the piece, you'll sort of hear the harmonies. And if this harmony is the, like the, the most you hear, chances are that's the key. Right hand first, let's check the fingering and the number and the rhythm numbering. Ugh. You're coming in on the and of two. So two, two e and a, and a. One e and a, two e and a, one. Or one and two and one and two and one. How you count it is up to you. Different people are different. If you need the one and a throughout, use it. If you can do the one and two and and know the 16th notes are in there, that's fine too. But make sure you're counting this carefully at the beginning again. And one and two we and a one and a two. Reach up. They don't need a natural sign there, but it doesn't hurt having it there, so okay. One and two we and a one and two. And a third finger. I recommend you on the second line first measure, go ahead and do a three on the like a sequence going down. Do the same fingering. You start with three each time. So again, the last two notes of the first line is here. And then three. And then a three. It's not really the same sequence. Go ahead. And then one, two, and one. Right there. This is very common fingering in piano. You get this kind of fingering quite a bit, so get comfortable with it. Oh. And then go on. Same fingering crossover. Well, here you, you do a three if you want, but a two works better because you want the thumb on the E and because you got to reach up to the octave on the next one. I'm on the third line. Do you know where I'm at? And then going on down, that you can get the rest of it. You don't want at the end there, the last pick, the last two measures. You your thumb here, then you have to do a three, two, and reach up. Because I want to connect these with the hands. Don't use, uh-uh. It's got to, if you can't do that, then you got to use thumb on that. That's just the way it is. I don't know. Left hand's just broken chords. One and two and, which is kind of nice because the right hand's got all these funky rhythms. Now the left, uh, second line here. C, and then the B minor chord, and I, again, I'm connecting everything for now, except for the rest, of course. Put the hands together here, slowly now, just trying to get the hands to work together. Here, here, and here, and then this is by itself, and then here, and then reach up. through and put the hands together and then go back through and get rid of the hesitations so it is a nice steady beat. I suggest you think eighth notes on this. Boom, 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 boom. Keep trying, keep that nice and steady. However, it doesn't matter how fast you go right now, nice and slow, but it has to be a steady beat. Then once you're comfortable with that, then we'll try this articulation because hopefully you haven't sped it up yet because this articulation is going to throw you. So keep it slow at this point. We have staccatos, here's slur, but it's in both hands. That kind of helps, because now you're doing the same in both hands. But after that, you're connecting them. So, and you have an accent in the right hand. 
lift up. Lift up. You can lift both hands at the same time here if you want. But it's the accent that throws me. I have a problem with that. It's a oh, with oh. It's the syncopation, because syncopation, I keep saying syncopation is when you play a note when you don't expect to, or you don't play a note when you do expect to. Well, syncopation can also be accents. When you throw off the accent, that can, that's a form of syncopation as far as I'm concerned. And this is syncopated. Whew. So the second line. And then lift up. Now here you don't have to lift both hands the same because they're completely different. And in my opinion, you should probably do the same way on the ends of these other lines, like at the end of the first line. Go ahead and hold that down for the rest of the beat. And then, and then lift it up there because they are independent here. The two hands are doing different things. And that's pretty much the articulation. It's very repetitive through it. It's just accent. So. That kind of a feeling all the way through. Then we think about the dynamics. Well, moderately soft. That makes the accent and notes moderately loud. The left has to be soft. Just keep it out of the way. think eventually years later about the speed that says gaily well it's happy typically a happy is speed is considered to be allegro I've never totally agreed with that but that's what they're saying to me this is more like it, it depends on the piece and what's in it and not the speed of the beat it's this thing That has to be sound happy. You don't race through it. Unless you're in a hurry to be happy or something, I'm not sure. But no, don't go fast, just be happy. Now at the bottom, the last two measures, watch out. You're here. I want you to hear. I'd like to connect this. So what I'm gonna suggest, if your hand's big enough, is on the last note and the next to the last measure, rather than 3-1, use 4-1. You need to be able to do this anyway, it's part of an arpeggio. So here, if you can, this way use 3-2, that way. You can connect it all more easily, because there's no pedal in this. we got to do it with the hands. Except for the staccato at the end. That's what I'm recommending. Now there's a repeat sign to play it again. And of course they put it, they do this quite a bit in this book. Right hand, one octave higher on repeat, the note at the bottom. So when you're done, the right hand's got to come up. And the right hand plays first too. So here I think you better leave, lift both hands at the same time. You need time to get up here. And by playing that, agreeing with the staccato, you got time to get up here. Like so. you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms here. We're not going to do any dynamics. I'll try and do the uh, staccatos and accents though. But I'm going to play both hands about the same. So I'll give us one and a half counts and let's try it out very slowly. Now put the metronome on eighth notes so it's beating eighth notes not quarter notes. So I'll give us three eighth notes and then we come in. I'm going to go one ready go and One, ready, go, and.
Thank you.